They're building this case that shows all of the stuff that he's done. Yes. A real case to say, okay, you shouldn't be president. We're talking about one thing at a time. But I think what they've managed to do that they haven't managed to do anywhere else is to build this sort of arc of lies. That's they, right. They've shown you know? it to be a pattern. Uh, that's the word they've I was trying to get. to be a pattern. <laughs> Whoopi, with everything you just said, you basically argued that Trump hasn't broken any laws and that they don't have one solid case against him. But because there are all these bad things that y'all thing he has done, he should be prosecuted and not allowed to become president. So you just showed your hypocrisy for everyone here to see, because you and the fake stream media are the ones saying Trump is a danger to our democracy, yet you have nothing against democracy under Joe Biden's regime being overwritten to prosecute Trump. Time to reflect, Whoopi. Time to reflect. And maybe this would be our last election because someone who will not accept the validity of an election is someone who doesn't believe in elections. He believes in his own power, his own right to power and his demand that he be installed regardless of whether he gets the votes or not. Yeah, and you know, I'm sorry, Joe, I got it. I find the lack of self-awareness here astonishing. I mean, talking about not believing in elections and one's own right to power, Hillary, you founded the fake Steele dossier and the Russia collusion hoax to remove Trump from office when he lost the election. Unlike your assumptions and mind readings of Trump, that actually happened. You did that. So don't talk to me about democracy and respectfully, go fuck yourself and Jeffrey Epstein's best friend. Hi, Bill. The claims regarding the CIA withholding information from the former president Donald Trump while in office and spying on him then and now are absolutely false. You know, I don't think we should use the word claims because they're not claims. Our program manager is literally on tape singing like a bird. So change that part. Okay. Let us be clear. The CIA was in no way involved in impeaching the former president Donald Trump. That's not even in the video. The f would you bring that up? Make sure to don't mention things that we have done but we're not accused of. Wake up, people. Just because the CIA murdered a sitting president 50 years ago, okay, is this a confession session? Because I, the more we go on, the worse it gets. I don't know, I'm not sure what, what, what this is. Just, just focus. In no way has the CIA ever been involved in child trafficking operations. Okay, that's, that's, that's enough. Okay, remember this photo? This is a photo that was everywhere when the FBI raided Trump's home Mar-a-Lago on August 8, 2022. This is also the very photo that the FBI or Department of Justice leaked to the media, ensuring that it was published everywhere for everyone to see. Notice those classified cover sheets. Yeah, it now turns out that those were not part of the documents. It turns out that the FBI paper clipped those covers on the top of the documents for the photo op. It now turns out that a number of those top secret labels don't even match the documents they were supposedly meant to protect. All this was revealed from a newly uncovered disclosure in a special counsel Jack Smith's case against Donald Trump. So the FBI and the Department of Justice tempered with evidence and participated in a hoax to target a former and likely the next president of the United States. And they have been lying about it for nearly two years. Of course, these are the same agencies that came up with Russia collusion hoax, trying to remove a sitting president, Donald Trump, from office. These are also the same agencies that withheld intelligence from a sitting president, Donald Trump, while in office. and wiretap him. So what's happening here is the bringers of justice care so much about justice and dangers to democracy that they spent eight years committing serious crimes, including treason, to remove an elected president from office, yet they found nothing. So they continue to commit serious crimes, including treason, to make sure he wouldn't get elected again.